Dennis Rodman has checked into rehab after it turns out that he has been abusing alcohol. He's had a you know long addiction with alcohol, and now he's seeking help for it. In fact, his agent, Darren, Pr Darren Price, said the following, what was potentially a historic and monumental event, referring to his trip to North Korea, turned into a nightmare for everyone concerned. Dennis Rodman came back from North Korea in pretty rough shape emotionally. The pressure that was put on him to be a combination superhuman political figure and fixer got the best of him or the better of him. So that's an interesting admission, you know? Yeah. Like if you thought Dennis Rodman was acting crazy, well, turns out he was. <laughs> he was drunk. Yeah. yeah, and he didn't, there was no grand plan. There was no, oh, but if I do this and I sing the birthday song for him and then maybe he'll release the hospital. No, 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 he was just drunk. <laughs> and so now to what degree the agent is saying that to make it seem better, that's a whole other question. Don't just trust the agent, right, and take his word for it, mm -hmm. because what's the most common excuse people give for doing unacceptable things? I'm uh, abusing. Yeah, yeah, I was sauced up, man. It's okay, I'm gonna go to rehab. I'm gonna go to rehab for exhaustion. Yeah. <laughs> At least in this case, they said, no, no, he's it's not. He's not exhausted. He's a drunk. Yeah. Well, okay. his his behavior on CNN during that interview, where you know he just lost it after he was questioned about you know what his intentions were in North Korea. I mean, he was definitely under the influence of something. And later on, he said that he was drunk. So I I believe him. If he is seeking help for his problem, I think that that's admirable, and I hope that he gets the help that he needs. The only thing that I find very questionable is last November he launched his own vodka vodka line mm -hmm. um, and ever since he visited North Korea it's really taken off so I just find it curious that someone who has a drinking problem and is now in rehab as a result of that also has a vodka line that literally has his name on it yeah so is it a happy coincidence that he happened to get a lot of attention by going to North Korea again and doing things like singing uh, happy birthday to a dictator you know, and Dennis Rodman's made a career out of getting the most amount of attention. By the way, uh, I'll help him along with that because I, I, there's two funny things I want to note about this. The name of the vodka is Dennis Rodman, the original badass premium vodka. <laughs> okay, first of all, that's the longest name ever for a drink. <laughs> Second of all, I don't think you want to be talking about Dennis Rodman's badass while somebody's about to drink something. So, <laughs> it's not the direction I would have gone. I okay, but uh, I appropriately, he might have been drunk while he named it. Can you imagine order, like ordering that appropriately or properly if you're at a bar or something? Bartender will ask you, like, what do you have? And I'll be like, I don't know, the original badass premium vodka cran. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or you just shorten it up. Can I get Dennis Rodman's badass? You <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. Um, at least we weren't the ones that took the crazy pill. It appears Dennis Rodman took the crazy pill.